Greetings, Thanksgiving buddies. Well, coming up this week is the American holiday of Thanksgiving, and that can only mean one thing. The day after that is the corporate holiday of Black Friday, and uh, Star Trek Online is participating. Now, I haven't been spending a lot of money in the game, but once upon a time I did buy the Lifetime membership, and so I've been steadily accumulating some Zen, and with these Black Friday sales, I might want to spend some of it, except that... Uh, well, I haven't been around for a year, so I think I may need some expert help on just what would be a good thing to spend my Zen on. So let me just make a quick phone call to Spencer real quick. Hey, how's it going? You got a few minutes? Fuck no. no that sounds good. Yeah, I'm not really calling you on the phone. We're on Discord, so I'm going to put the phone down since this is just a gag. All right, thanks. Bye. All right. Thanks for answering the call, Spencer. I know you're busy uh, checking out ISOMAGs over there. So uh, you can't buy ISOMAGs straight from the store. I have 9,360 Zen here. When the Black Friday sale kicks in, what would you recommend someone buy if they haven't been playing the game for a year? I think the bundle that I would focus on the most is probably the Legendary Battlecruiser bundle. The Legendary Avenger is basically a direct copy of the Inquiry, the, the promotional Inquiry. And for most people, it's going to be a better ship. It has better turn rate, more attack consoles, and it has a pretty good trade on it where when you hit two emergency powered subsystem abilities, you can get up to 50% crit D, pretty good. And the Vortisque itself is also a pretty decent tort platform. It can work as a tank, but you don't have the attract fire cruiser command on it, unfortunately, given that it is a battle cruiser. And you're also getting a T6 ship coupon in that bundle. So for what that bundle cost during a 35% bundle sale, you are getting a lot for your money. Uh, if someone already had that, what would you what would you go for? Ooh, after that, I think I would say to just save up a little bit more Zen or put another 20 in probably for the anniversary bundle from this year. Um, if able. The one that came out this year is actually pretty good. You've got the, the Terran Hydra in it, which is a Is that the very 12th or the 13th? Capable... It's the 13th. 13th. The 13th. Yeah, the 13th, you've got the Terran Eagle, which is currently the top torpedo platform in the game. It's got all the torp DPS records right now. It is a very fun little escort to fly, and it has a battle cloak, or an, in, an enhanced battle cloak to be specific. It's a commander pilot and it's got a console on it where if you're using torps on a ship with a commander pilot, they'll have a half second shared fire time. So you can fire torps much faster than any other ship out there, basically. Oh, that's nice. The, the Hydra is one of the top PVP platforms right now. And it's also just a very capable do platform. You can pretty much get away with any type of do build on that ship and have really good performance. You've got the Terran Monitor, which is a science carrier, so not that good. The uh, the Sirius, which is an okay tank platform, but you've got the sticks, the, the lockbox sticks in this bundle that you'll get as an account wide unlock, which is to this day still the best tank platform in the game, in my opinion. I already have a sticks, so this might be a little less value for me. Especially since yeah. I don't have the legendary battle cruiser bundle. Yeah, the thirteenth, yeah. if you didn't have the six, would definitely be a very strong option. Now, if a person out there didn't have any legendary bundles and they wanted to pick up one of one of ten, eleven, twelve, or thirteen, which one would you recommend? Ooh, that's that's a tough one. I like the ships in the thirteenth. I think the 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 ships in the thirteenth are just overall better platforms. But the 12th bundle does also have some really nice things in it. You know, getting a count wide, sad, superior area denial, enables you to have a much more effective carrier platform if you're looking to, to boost up hangar pets at all. The ships in the 12th bundle are a little bit weaker than the 13th. They're still really good. The Lexington is still a capable platform. The Cygnus wasn't that great when it initially launched, but it is one of the ships that has seen a resurgence with the Isomax coming into the meta. I feel like the 10th for so long, people see that as the gold standard, but I don't know that those ships have actually aged that well, uh, relatively, haven't. you know? It's like, even at the time, it was really just because you got so many, it was just such good value in terms of sh overall ships, and they were all, you know, hero ships and stuff, but I think nowadays... The 10th bundle is still good for someone that just wants all of the hero ships and wants all of the the accessories and traits from them like it is still a good package if that's what you're aiming for 
but from a meta perspective, that bundle is losing value each year as we get new bundles that are just releasing just better ships. Now, outside of these big bundles, I also missed all the events. And a lot of that stuff gets put into MUDs or gets put into second choice uh, or second chance. Is there any of that stuff that is like must have? I don't think there's any... I guess the, the only MUD ship right now that I would probably consider if you didn't have it would be the the Rising Corvette because that experimental weapon is still pretty solid if you don't have a good experimental weapon. The Starship trade on it is also good for PvP if that's anything you're interested in. As for events, there's not been a ton this year that I would consider a must-have outside of the, the current event for the Trifluoride Maelstrom. That Trifluoride Maelstrom is really, really good. It's only about 7% behind the original Maelstrom that was in the Legendary First Strike bundle. With the Mud Store, with the Black Friday sales, they are putting in the Halloween event reward from last year, the Sylvia's Feline Charm. That might be something to consider picking up if you do a lot of ground. It is quite convenient. It's not currently in the mud store, but it will be, I think, on the 22nd is what they said in the uh, the email. Okay, so that's worth looking for when the sale goes live. It looks like the events here that, I, that it's telling me I could buy out. No win scenario, Halloween, flagship celebration event. I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like you get four ships, but they have that in the thumbnail. A Good Day to Die, and Voth Invictus. The No Win event, the Protostar Omni, really not worth wasting your money on, in my opinion, unless you need the event campaign progress. Oh, yeah, because also I've also missed out on the event campaign. We're on the fifth event now. If, if I actually did the fifth event, I would need to buy out, what, four of these? Well, that yeah. would be, what, 100 bucks. That's probably still cheaper than going out and getting the lobby or getting a promo ship, so I suppose... If that's all you cared about, that's that's a way to do it. Yeah, but right now, given that there's promo packs in the C store actively throughout the entire duration of the the Black Friday event for those for those of us on PC, I think you could actually get a promo or lockbox ship cheaper than what it would cost to buy out these events if you had to buy out the entire year of event campaign. All right, so nothing too high value here. We talked about anniversary bundles, legendary battle cruiser bundle. Muds doesn't have a whole lot other than it's going to have that cat wand thing the events aren't worth much unless maybe you only need a couple to get your event campaign one other bundle from earlier this year is the legendary first strike bundle that's got the original maelstrom in it i personally haven't really found much use case for the the ships from it throughout the year especially now with the isomags i i'm not really using the valdor anymore and the akira the akira is a good ship but i don't think i would go crazy about that bundle with the other options out there now all right thank you so much for joining me thanks for all the advice and uh spencer has his own video out right now about the black friday sales so if you want to learn more click right here and engineers are the best right fuck no <laughs>